Can you say more about what you mean by essence or essential self? I find it to be uh, a term that my brain has a hard time fully understanding. Well, a couple of things. If we if we think about the 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 rose, for instance, you have a very physical thing called a flower that we call a rose, and from that, then we distill out of the rose uh, rose perfume. Between the rose, the physical rose and the perfume, however, there is this intermediate stage that seems like an unfortunate title, but it's called toilet water, right? You know, like what a weird thing to call it, but you know, but it's that intermediate stage bit where the essence of the rose is less refined. But then we get, and then we get to the perfume of the rose. When we call it perfume, it's been very much distilled into the essence of the rose. When you, when you pick up on the scent of the rose, you're now picking up on the essence of the rose. And I suppose if you, if you uh, acknowledge that kind of thing, you could say then we go to the homeopathic of the rose, which is further distil distillization. Pure Valayat and Naya Khan also talked about the quintessence is what we take with us when we leave this world. That you could say, for instance, if you were a carpenter your entire life, what you would take with you would not so much be that you know how to make a cabinet <laughs> or, or you know, put some walls up. It would be your experience of condensing the essential nature of form would be the quintessence of the experience of your life mission. So now apply that to your to oneself. And we could say that in our experience in life, and that's the one of those things we'll take with us. You know, we do the what we do to change the who we are, and the who we are is that quintessence of the condensation and, and the distillation of the experience, like the carpenter, not so much putting up a wall, but this experience of a lifetime lifetime working with form, making form, uh, manifesting form. So whatever our domain of work is, there is a essence that we're meant to distill out of that, that we will take with us and hopefully change the world and add to the world. That is a kind of a both end because to have that calling in the first place, you already had that in you. So the course of your life is a distillation of that essence, a refining, you know, that movement to the perfume of the rose. So the perfume of oneself. And to get to that distillation um, and refinement, one has to go through the process of life. Life is a distilling and a refining process. So the at one's essence, to have that life mission in the first place, you already had that in your calling. You know, it, it was packed in our bags, if you say. And then the, over the course of our life, the, the embodying, the living into it, creates the perfume or the essence of the refinement of that. So we have the both end that we come with an essence that creates the context for our life and the calling of our life mission. And that essence moves to being a very fine perfume if we embody our life. That's the gift of embodying our life mission is the refinement of the scent of our perfume. Thank you. It's really helpful. 